going back in the house. Mm -mm. About to run back in the house. I just wanted to do that real quick. Look, my, my phone just going back, back and forth and forth and back, back and forth and forth. Anyway, um, I'm getting ready to put these back. Happy 4th of July, y'all. I know my people, meaning black people, have different opinions about celebrating the Independence Day. But for me, it's, I was just raised on it. It's habit. Um, I'm not going to dispute the arguments that black people have about celebrating Independence Day because they're like independence from what? And if you look at the state of the country now, for blacks, whites, browns, and otherwise, really independence of what? Anyway, nonetheless, it's an excuse to feel some type of uh, happiness. Cook, get your family together. It's what I was raised on. So that's what we are doing today. I just got some groceries in. I'm super tired. I got a whole bunch of health updates and stuff like that. I'm actually going to have another surgery shortly, but we'll get into that later. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to go ahead and put some of these groceries up that I just got and try to get started cooking a little bit of something. I don't want it to seem like a hell of a task because I am so tired, but we, we're gonna try to make it work. All right, so I'm gonna grab, let me grab some wipes to wipe down. back and forth from having energy and the will to do everything to I don't want to do nothing right now I'm back to I don't want to do nothing I'm back to I don't want to do nothing bro. I'm so tired yeah. got some more mustard didn't realize I was out until I was trying to make me a burger the other day but I didn't burst it black pepper Tony seasoning. And this one's just a backup. Oh, yeah. I got another backup over there. So leave one of these out and put one away. So while I'm doing this, let's tell you guys, I went to the doctor yesterday. And like I said, long story short, I found out I have, have, have another surgery. I have some pain in my back. When I got home, I discovered a big knot. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I had a surgery in May of last year to remove a tumor, 17 centimeter cyst with a tumor in it. Uh, when I went to the doctor yesterday, I was told that I still had 13 centimeters of fluid left. It may be infected. It's causing me pain and distress. And it may, I don't know if I'm, uh, I don't know currently, I don't know if I have sepsis or I don't know what's going on, but feel off. With that being said, um, when I keep bending over, I'm, I'm holding my back because my back hurts. And I don't know if this knot is like, you know how sometimes you just run into something and you don't realize it and then you're like, where did this knot come from? I do that a lot, so hopefully that's what that is. But with all of the stuff that's going on, I'm a little bit worried. Okay, but one thing I said I was going to do today is not worry about it. Not worry about it. I kind of just want to relax and have some fun today. Okay, so I got some salmon. Uh, got a cowboy ribeye steak. That's not for today. Fresh corn in there that I'm about to fall out. 
Got a couple of tomatoes. Spinach. Some good fresh spinach. in the black household. Uh, I know a lot of the newer generations, they get away from just using a, a lorry seasoning salt, but I grew up on this. I'm always going to have it in my house. And even though I have a myriad, I got plenty of seasonings and there's more where you can't see. I still always have to keep some layers in my house. And I use it a lot. Some romaine hearts. Boudin now for today. I'm gonna make this, I made some of this today and I'm making some ribs. Um, I'm thinking I'm making some deviled eggs, candy yams, fresh corn, and Hawaiian rolls. Um, I may or may not. Look, look, check this out. Here's my. Wait, wait. I can get it right. That's what we got going on in the background for the 4th of July. And don't judge me, don't laugh at me. But this is my little picnic dress. Ah, oh, smells amazing. It's my little picnic dress I'm planning on wearing today. Looks like a little tablecloth. Looks like a little tablecloth. I'm planning on putting that on at some point to, to match with the day. Alright. Um, let me get a couple other things done and I'll be back.
be shot o'clock. Feel so sluggish, man. It's just so annoying. I'm trying to get it together, but I don't really feel it. It's now getting my freaking hairline back. I mean, not that it was bad. I've always had edges, but it was pushed back just a little bit more. And at my age, you know, we're gonna be losing some hairs, so I wanna keep as many hairs as I can on my head. Next, I'm going in with the olive oil foaming wrap lotion, and that is how I hit a defined curl for myself. I'm gonna look real silly until it just dries, and then I can kind of fluff it out. But initially, I'm just gonna look like a wet mop. I 
call this my little 4th of July dress. And I initially was supposed to work today, but I have been taking off work until I get an MRI. Well, not until I get an MRI, but I've been taking off work for the next couple of days. Um, waiting on an MRI. And I'm going to. Uh, so I'm saying all that to say that I really don't feel like what I'm trying to look like or what I'm trying to be. So when I come back in the house, um, I only wanted to put this dress on because it was like 4th of July. So when I'm, I'm going to run to the store and I'm going to come back in the house, I'm right back in my pajamas. So I don't think I need a primer. This is a Kat Von D KVD, I don't know. <sighs> Concealer that I'm about to put on. I just got this. So I don't know how it works. I've never worn something on my cheeks or something like that. I think that's what I Lips concealer. It's got a a real serious glow to it. So I don't really need that today. I don't want to go out of this house for nothing in the world. I don't want to go out of this house for nothing. I can't wait to get back out of this dress into my. show you on this is the elf camo cc cream and this is deep 510c i have been wearing this a lot like i've been wearing it ever since i got it i've been wanting to work quite a few times now and it stays in place far more than i thought it would 
So it's a great go-to because it's not doing too much. It's giving me a nice little glow. So again, I thought I was filming a video. I just got back in the car and burned the hell out of my butt. I'm on my way back home now. I'm about to take this shit off. I, <laughs> the purpose has been served and I look all crunched up. I look like a big ass cramp. But I'm, <laughs> I'm about to go home and get back in my pajamas, get comfortable. I think I'm about to put my devil digs on. Um, I'm gonna do corn. I don't know if I said already. I don't know if I went down the list, but I'm about to call my youngest son and let him know I'm cooking. So he come over if he wants. And I think for me, I am pretty much back in the bed. Uh, I don't know if I showed you. I got my little Red Bull because I am struggling with the energy. But um, I'm about to swallow that down and go get comfortable. Watch me some YouTubes and cook. And so as promised, I'm back. I'm in my pajamas. Yeah, back in my pajamas. I'm about to put a few things up and then I'm going to, I'm about to go in here and put, um, 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 eggs on for devil eggs. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, just put my eggs on in a little bit. I am going to do something with this corn and this boudin right here. Yeah, it's in my refrigerator. It is a mess. But we blessed enough to have food in and that's all we count. I left my seasonings out from earlier, like I told y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in the back for a minute and then I'll be back up here to here's like just a few potatoes that I was cooking. I don't know how many. So now I'm back in this kitchen trying to figure out what my next move is. I think my red will up. It just got the timer going off to let me know that it is time to pull the ribs out. I'm going to make... Alexa, stop. I'm going to make a uh, a little honey butter garlic sauce situation to uh, pour over my ribs before I take them out for good. They've been in here about two... Um, oh, shit. They've been in here, I think, three hours. So hopefully they, they should be good and tender by now. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're good and tender. I'm gonna pour some of the juice off in a minute. Let me go ahead and make my little concoction I'm gonna make. Pour some of the juice off. Ooh. Hi, hi, hi. And then we're gonna go over there. Let me do that real quick. And then I can just let them cook a little bit more. Uh, it's hot. So yeah, I'm gonna do like um I'm gonna do like a butter, olive oil, brown sugar, honey situation. Make as a glaze over my ribs. So when I get ready to uh before I put my little barbecue sauce on, I'm just gonna have a little, little glaze situation. Butter, 
if y'all haven't tried this butter yet, try this. It tastes so, I mean, it's so good. I'm not, hold on, that's my son. Let me get him. All right, y'all, that was my son. My son that called. Sorry about that. Son called, so I had to answer that. And so, like I'm saying, I am getting ready to do a little, um, Uh, I'm gonna see this one. I've got a little brown sugar and butter in here. Brown sugar, butter. I'm gonna put a little honey in there. And I'm going to put a jalapeno in there. I don't know what happened to my honey. I'm gonna put a jalapeno in there just for a little razzle dazzle. And some honey. And some garlic. anything about me I put garlic in everything but I would put garlic in my cereal if I could on your easy so yeah I'm gonna do that throw a little garlic off in there after I have finished cooking my meat I'm gonna throw the corn and corn on the cob in the oven but I still need to put this glaze on there and I need to put the barbecue sauce on there so like I said, I'm going to just do one or two jalapenos if I can get it open. Can't get it open, but guess what can? timer for 10 minutes. Yeah, I was recording. I'm tired as hell now. I don't want to do this anymore. But I'm not through yet. Um, I'm getting ready to season this corn and put it in the oven. It's tired. I ain't going to do it.
garlic olive oil and then I'm seasoning it. Okay, this might be the last kitchen clip. My youngest son is on his way over here. So I know everything is gonna go straight to hell. Uh, deviled eggs. I haven't finished this. This is the last thing I need to do. Uh, candy yams. My oldest son wanted some potatoes. I'm not done with those yet. My youngest son won't eat those, so no big deal. Just a, uh, some hamburgers that I cooked because I needed to cook up the rest of the hamburger meat. And here is some baked corn on the cob. And, oh, oh. Did I show the rolls already? Rolls. And then the ribs. There's the ribs. And so that's that. Uh, it doesn't look, this don't look appealing, but I'm telling you, it is amazing. So anyway, I got to do these real quick before my youngest get here. And then that is that, I think, for the 4th of July cooking. I wasn't supposed to do none of this. Uh, that's just kind of me pulling it together last minute. And then, of course, we got our 4th of July stuff right there. Okay, this might be it for the night. I have definitely eaten. I've eaten a lot. My stomach's killing me. Uh, this may be the close out for the vlog. For the vlog. Uh, I don't even know. The food was really good. Um, I don't even know what was the last thing I showed y'all. It is. Uh, I don't know what time it is. It's 20 minutes to 7. It's 20 minutes to 7. I started cooking about... And I had something this morning. About 9.30. And I'm... I'm a, I still got my son's mashed potatoes in there cooking. But like everything else is done. And me and my youngest son have eaten. So yeah... If this is uh, the last I see y'all, good night and happy fourth.